Welcome back to the big show. So our week-long spotlight of the great city of Rochester wraps up today. The Mayo Clinic has been helping patients from around the world for 160 years. So yesterday, we brought you the story of Mayo Wood Mansion. It's the former home of Dr. Charles H. Mayo, the founder of Mayo Clinic. It is a local landmark built in 1910. Well, today we're going to get a glimpse inside the home of another prominent doctor of Mayo Clinic, Dr. Henry Plummer. So reporter Kristen Hobrick is taking us to Plummer House. Welcome to the former home of Dr. Henry Plummer. This charming English Tudor style mansion sits on 11 acres with 49 rooms, gorgeous grounds, and there's even a water tower on the property. Let's step inside. So Les, you are the caretaker here at the Plummer house. Correct. And I'd love to start first by getting to know more about who Dr. Henry Plummer was. I understand he was a man of many talents. Right. He was uh, not only a, a medical doctor, but he was an inventor also. He made uh, surgical t surgical tools right here um, in the where our living quarters are now. Wow. Um, as I said, one of the things he was concerned about was that some of the tools were too big for child surgery, and so he made some tools that would fit uh, young children and things like that. By but hand? By hand. Started out, he was a young doctor in Spring Valley, and the story is that the males went down to help with somebody to live down in Spring Valley, Minnesota, and Henry's father was a doctor. He wasn't there, so Henry took care of this patient, and they talked in the, as after they left, and the male brothers got back, and they discussed, and they said, we need to get this young man we on our staff. Plumber. We yes. need him here. I understand that he was pretty involved in some of the plans of right. the constructing of the house and he right. wanted to implement certain things that were ahead of the time. Right. What, what are some of those examples? Well, Ellerby was the architect and he and, and uh, Mr. Ellerby had become good friends. He had a bell and buzzer system, a communication system in the house that uh, it isn't working anymore but you can still see it had a speaker like a little telephone that you could talk into. Little like intercoms Right, almost? and it was an intercom where you could, it, you could be called from different places. This is Dr. Plummer's library, and uh, a lot of the books we tried to maintain, and he had his own bookmarker in these that you can oh see. Oh my goodness. That said that this was his book, what? and then there are uh, a lot of uh, reference books and stuff now too. This is a, a photo of Henry. Um, th these are the children, Robert and Gertrude. Teddy, Teddy Roosevelt, Roosevelt was his favorite man, and then this is a picture of, of the uh, fireplace. Was this a, a favorite room? Oh, it, th this was their favorite room. I've been told that they, they just love to be down here, both reading or you know chatting or things like that. What are all of these gadgets that we see here on the side of the library? Well, these are lights that would the light, would light up the, the flowers and the stuff that goes all the way down to the uh, tower, and they could control all of that from here. They used to have, I understand, lights that would be in the grass on the way down there, and uh, we don't use them anymore, but they were used for many years. And what an innovator! This yeah. is genius. Th these are still original nameplates of people that, of, of things when they were, the family was here. This is Henry Plummer's painting, and uh, there are people uh, led by my wife who tell others that if you follow, go up the steps that Henry, will, his eyes will follow you up the steps as you go. When you go up to the bedrooms, they're not huge bedrooms, they're just uh, medium size. And then to have a ballroom, it's just amazing. Hey, this is the ballroom and they uh, entertained a lot. When the family was still here, they would bring tables and chairs up here and they would have dinners and things like that and then they stored them over Is on the other side. Is it unique to have side. a ballroom on the third level of a home? I, I think so, but we have other big homes in this area that have them not as big as this because the homes aren't as big, but there are some other ones that are about, you know, maybe half this size or whatever. And the chandeliers are gorgeous. Right, they're original and um, I, they, didn't, they didn't worry about how much something cost. Not that they were spendthrifts, but they wanted things to be nice and that's why that they have things that are yes. still you know, in use today. I can't imagine this being a private place and particularly since my wife and I and our kids have had the opportunity to live in this mm -hmm. 
in Dr. Plummer's house. It's just amazing. Wow, that is incredible. It's impressive. It's so Massive. impressive. Yeah. Um, so you are invited to take a stroll on the grounds on Wednesdays. The home is open for self-guided tours, and the Plummer House can also be rented for weddings Ooh, and fancy. special events. That sounds very fun. For more information, you can head over to TwinCitiesLive.com. Okay. I'm excited for you. Up next, this is great. I love when my old high school friends come to town, particularly when they are so successful and just absolutely crushing it.